IBL from inside and obscure lighting. IBL from inside behaves differently when used with obscure lighting than if it is used for IB lighting. Additionally, a Bryce mirror does not reflect the light intensity except if used with obscure lighting. If a spherical panorama is mapped spherically on a sphere, it is done so on the outside. Note how the room with the orange light is right of the alcove. If the camera is set within such a sphere, the panorama is mirrored. That means left and right are swapped. Note how the room with the orange light is left of the alcove. To make use of a panorama with the camera inside the sphere, the panorama has to be horizontally flipped first. Or set the X size to negative. This will automatically pull the outside of the sphere to the inside. Now the room with the orange light is right of the alcove. We see a full spherical panorama on the inside of the chapel. It is the tone mapped HRI chapel which is available here. And to create a full spherical panorama a special lens is bolted to the camera. The lens used is the spherical mapper. The spherical mapper is available from here. Remember, a spherical panorama is wrapped around the outside of a sphere. If the camera is inside the sphere, the image must be horizontally swept or the outside of the sphere turned inside. An HRI is mapped on a virtual sphere with an infinite diameter. The camera is always inside this sphere. When Bryce loads the HRI panorama, the image is flipped automatically and it appears correctly if rendered as backdrop. Also, the light comes from the correct direction. To test this, Two simple HRIs were made. One has a red light at left or west and a green one at right east. The other one has the red light on top in the zenith, the sky, and the green light at the nadir or the ground. The rest is left nearly but not completely black. Look down at the values here. Green at 9.7, red at 9.7. This is red, this is green. And the backdrop has 0 0.003. The dynamic range is 3240 to 1. A sphere with the default gray is lit by the HRI. In front of the camera is the EWL, the Extreme Wide Angle Lens, a forthcoming product by David and myself, and the camera field of view set in such a way that the render covers 190 degrees, horizontal and vertical. That's why we can see the red light on the left and opposite it the green light which is 180 degrees opposite. Looking from above, we see the sphere and here inside the camera is the extreme wide-angle lens. Rendering the scene with the normal IBL lighting mode with the HRI as backdrop shows part of the colored lights which illuminate the sphere. The position of the light sources and the light received by the object 
is what we expect. If we move the camera inside the sphere, the left inner wall gets green, the right inner wall red. Within the sphere the lights are swept left and right and top and bottom. This is funny because it ought to be pitch black inside the sphere. Here is the same scene with the HRI that has red above and green below. The light on the grey sphere look right. If we move the camera inside and do a render, we see that horizontal and vertical are swept as well. We have the upper part of the sphere inside lit green by the light which is on the bottom and the lower side which is lit from above red. Now what happens if we use the HR from inside? Light from inside, the lights swept. Here is the HRI, red above, green below, HRI from outside or normal, green below, red above, light from the inside, above is green, below is red. The backdrop and the light on the sphere do not match they are swept upside down. Now if we move the camera inside the sphere, we see out of a sudden that IBL from inside lights the sphere correctly, which means we have the light from top is also lighting the upper part of the sphere and the light from the bottom the lower part of the sphere. If you use again the HRI with the red light to the left and the green light to the right, like here, we see that it is lit correctly. Again, if you light from inside, these lights are swept on the sphere, just as we've seen before in upside down, it is also left and right. The light is wrong, but if we move the camera inside, we see that it is correct. The left part of the sphere is red and the right part green. At least this appears to be consistent. Now let's have a look at HRI in TA Gale mapping. We have eight radials. Set to true ambience, U scale, include background, and the procedural is this HRI with red at left and green at right. And this looks more or less correct. The LDRI as scale has not been swept. Nevertheless, the sphere is correctly lit. Not much light, because the light comes from the LDRI mapped as gill around the radials. The sphere is also bright overall. This light is gathered from the dark part, which is not black in the HRI, just very, very dark. But we see a little bit of red on this side and a bit of green on this side. The HRI provides only the background, there is no light from it, no light from the HRI, so the HRI does not help except that it is set to true ambience optimization. And of course we have this in the render options as well. We have TI, scatter, correction, boost light, true ambience, premium. It doesn't actually make sense to move the camera into the sphere. The light sources, the radials, have only the background included, not the sphere. And HRI effect is zero and is not a light source as such. 
More interesting results can be obtained with obscure light. Obscure lighting works with HRI from inside. Light from inside, HRI effect at 150, no true ambience optimization, applied to light source. There is one radial, which is called background, this is very important, which is true ambience optimized, uses a gale, which is a procedural, which I've set full white here, and it is included in the background. The HRI is also included in the background. So obscure lightning generally works with IBL inside, a radial that encompasses the scene, and an HRI as backdrop to supply reflection on the object if desired. The radial is TI optimized as we have seen. Trying to render the scene inside the sphere is in vain. There is no light because only the background is included, not the sphere. For the HRI from inside and the radial, which is named background. Even though the light gathering HRI is inside, the light comes from the correct direction. It is neither horizontally nor vertically swept as when used in the pure IBL mode. Evidently, the light is gathered from the inside of the tiny HRI sphere at world center. Additionally, it does not matter at all where the scene is located. It does not need to be around the world center, which means around the HRI. It is very comfortable to know that in obscure lighting the HRI backdrop and the light generated by the HRI from inside are consistent. Here we have premium render, true ambience, TI scattering correction, boost light. So this is a TA render. In the IBL we have used it as a backdrop. We have the light from inside we have it applied to the light source, which may or may not be necessary. Important thing, true ambience optimization is disengaged. And this is generating the light from the inside and the included object is only the background. Looking from the vertical side, red light above, red light on the top of the sphere, green light at the bottom, green light at the underside of the sphere. Now let's have a look at the properties of a mirror. A real mirror does not only reflect the objects in front of it to the viewer, it also reflects the light. If you stand in front of a mirror and the lamp lights your back, your front is also illuminated through the mirror. We have a setup like this, never mind the backdrop, it is just something. Inside this sphere we have a radial. The sphere is just here to make it visible and we have another sphere which is mirrored in the mirror and it is black. And this is the setup. Here is this visible white sphere with the radial inside. Here is the sphere illuminated from the back and here we have the mirror. If you look at it from the right side, we see that the light lights this sphere only from this side. The mirror does not light the sphere. We can correct this absence of reflected light by putting a light source behind the mirror and disabling cast shadows in order the invisible light behind it can shine through. Here we have the same setup as before, but here behind the mirror we have another radial which is just opposite this one. Looking at the material of this mirror, we see that we have cast shadows disabled, so the light can shine through. 
looking at it from the side, we see that this light lights the sphere and it appears as if the mirror would mirror this light back to this object. But this is not true. If we go back and switch back on the cast shadows for the mirror and render again, we see that the mirror does not light this part. Using a second radial behind the mirror and setting the mirror without casting shadows is just a workaround because the mirror does not reflect the light, only the object. Now let's see how IBL copes with this problem. It does not. The scene is lit and provides the backdrop is this one which is available in this product. In order to have an angle of view of 190 degrees horizontally the EWL or the extreme wide angle lens is bolted in front of the camera. This fisheye lens for the Bryce camera will probably be available from Dust3D when you watch this video. We have the sun here which lights the back of Victoria nicely. This sun is mirrored in the mirror but the light it casts is not reflected onto the front side of Victoria which stays black. These are the HDRI settings. We've rendered with 128 quality, a full saturation, intensity 5. This gives us the light of the backdrop and with 300 for HDRI effect. It's a poor IBL render. Here we have again the same scene rendered using HRI in TA Gale method and it has Victoria nicely lit. This render would appear quite natural with the cool colors on Victoria after sunset. However, the sun is still up. So neither IBL nor HRI in TA Gale show any reflected light from the mirror. And this is the setup. IBL we're using as a backdrop, but it doesn't generate any light. But it is true ambience optimized, and we can see it in the render options that we use premium effect TI and TI scattering correction boost light. And we have four radials which are true ambience optimized with the toe mapped HRI as scale and this is the result we get from this render. Again the same scene but rendered using the obscure lighting method but without the mirror. This looks quite right, doesn't it? But that's not surprising. If we put the mirror in place, we finally get what we expect from a mirror. Not only Victoria, the landscape and the sun are reflected, the light from the sun brightens up Victoria's front side that points away from the sun through the mirror. This example demonstrates nicely that this lighting method is capable of reflecting at least part of the light. The trousers below the mirror are unlit like the render without the mirror. Let's have a look at the IBL settings, light from inside and no true ambience optimization which is important for this lighting method and rendered premium with true ambience TI scatter correction boost light. There is one single radial surrounding the scene 
which is true ambience optimized uses a gale which is just white and it is included in the background and the name of this radial is also background which is very important for this lighting method going back here just to show you that we have included the background also for the IBL from inside if the reflection in the mirror cannot be seen and the background gives no clue about the brightness of the environment setting diffusion and ambience for the mirror to 100 can be quite helpful because the light falls off with the distance of the object to the mirror how much is difficult to say measurements showed that the brightness stays about the same up to a distance of the object to the mirror of 10 Bryce units and then falls off at approximately the rate the distance increases which means double the distance of the light the size of the mirror is also important if its surface is smaller less light is reflected this certainly has to do with the TA method here the mirror was replaced by a terrain to give the mirror a uneven surface in the hope that it will create some caustics on the object in front of it which is sadly not the case another example the backlit armadillo from the stand for 3d scanny repository this one is used here and the hr i seen in the backdrop is wall and lake which is included in the price mentoring dvd here here i have moved the mirror up so it does not reflect on the armadillo and we can see that it is dark on this side it is lit from the sun which is here on the back however if the mirror is in place the sun is reflected here and the light is reflected on the front side of the armadillo and this brighter surface is also again reflected back to the mirror so we can see it another idea how this mirror light can be used a transparent 2d face with an orange transparency color is in front of the mirror this is the 2d face which is a filter in front of the mirror maximum ray depth had to be increased by one from four to five the color filter also tints the color of the light reflected to the object so we have the sun which is reflected here which reflects the light but it is filtered to orange and the light that is cast on the front side of the armadillo is orange through the filter the HRI from inside is indeed responsible for the light here the HRI is rotated by 180 degrees the Sun is behind the mirror and does not shine in it the armadillo gets low light and only a tiny bit of orange the IBL has been turned to the back side and here it will be on the front side again as is evident with this method parts of the scene can be indirectly lit and colored if there is enough light from the HRI and the mirror is not visible for the camera the light reflected can then be boosted by turning up diffusion for the mirror this has been done here the mirror has diffusion 50% to control the light that is reflected from the mirror back to the object let's recap what we have discussed if the camera is inside a sphere the panorama wrapped around it must be mirrored the light from an HRI inside 
has not only the light mirrored, it is also swapped vertically. If HGRI in TA gale is used, the panorama wrapped around the radial is correctly mapped. For obscure lighting, the HRI inside emits the light in the correct direction. The light from this HRI is reflected in a mirror but regrettably does not create caustics. The mirror can have a color filter and the object in front of it is illuminated by colored light. This concludes the video. I do hope you found the tests interesting and watching this video worthwhile.